Welcome to another vlog. Today is the day that we're going on our Chicago trip. Good morning. It is 4.42 a.m. I feel bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Probably because I just took a shower. So we're just waiting for an Uber now to come and get us. Correction, a Lyft. It's gonna be here in eight minutes. We're actually gonna fly out of Fort Lauderdale Airport today, which is about, what, 10 minutes from our house? 15 minutes from where we're living? But it's so early in the morning, I'll probably be there so fast. Today we're flying on United. So the current trip that we're going on was his Christmas gift from me to him. So I bought us the plane tickets and and the hotel stay that we're gonna be staying at once we get to Chicago. We're excited. You're probably wondering like who books a ticket to go to Chicago in January. in January when it's freezing cold? We do. We made sure that we got all of our winter stuff. He already had a lot of winter stuff because he's originally from there. I had to buy like, what are they called? Long johns, gloves, earmuffs, and I have to get all this stuff. So I'm prepared. Sadly, our doggies are not here. I just know it was a missing cage. And so normally we have two dog crates over here. So if you're new to the channel, we have two dogs and they're not here because my mom is watching them. I had to drop them off last night because obviously we have an early flight today. We definitely feel sad and we miss them. <laughs> All right, you ready to go? So we got to make sure we have our masks because you have to wear the mask on the airplane and get your wallet, charging cable, vaccine card. Vaccine card. All those important things. ID. Phone. Okay. So if you're wondering, we're actually going to be in Chicago only for three nights. Obviously today I'm going to take you on the flight with us. I haven't flown United in, oh my gosh, God knows how long. At least 10 years. I, I don't know when the last time I was on United. But we're flying confirmed. And if you're new to the channel, I am a flight attendant for another airline. I'm flying on a competitor airline. All right, let's go. Is he almost here yet? Six minutes away. Ten minutes. I haven't been here in so long. We gotta check our bags, so we have, probably should go over here. So I have pre-check, but this guy over here does not. We gotta get you some TSA pre-check, buddy. We just finished security. I forgot what it was like to be a regular passenger, because usually as a flight attendant, you skip the line. Sometimes you don't even have to go through security. That was rough. I, I bring him down, people. I, I bring did, him down. I did not miss being a normal passenger. So that's our gate right there, C2. Funny enough, John used to work right over here at the United Lounge. That's so fancy. One of our stops before getting on the plane is gonna be Starbucks coffee. Coffee in hand. I got a cold coffee. You got a hot coffee. And we got two sandwiches. Thank you to everyone who sends us uh, Starbucks gift cards. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it looks like the crew just got to the plane. And before we knew it, it was time to board our flight to Chicago. Since we were in first class, we boarded with group one and were one of the first people to get on board the airplane. The aircraft taking us to Chicago is this Boeing 737-900. It had the two by two configuration and 20 first class seats. Just as we were getting to our seats, the aircraft lights went off due to the plane switching from ground power to its APU. That's airplane lingo. Anyways, we started getting settled, plugging in our devices and making ourselves at home. I have to say, these are some very comfortable seats. As we board the flight attendant gave us these Purell sanitizing wipes and we even had a blanket provided for us at our seat. I was especially surprised to see the flight attendant bringing around pre-departure champagne and water. We had champagne. Cheers! Shortly after we started taxiing and the flight attendants began their safety demonstration. Please review the safety card located at your seat. Follow along whenever the seatbelt sign is on. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt or tight across your lap. In case of unexpected turbulence, keep your seatbelt fastened even when the seatbelt sign is on. This Boeing 737 is equipped with four exit doors, two on each side of the aircraft. Soon after, we were airborne. Our flight to Chicago was almost three hours. The captain was surprised that we had a little bit of a headwind. For non-aviation people, a headwind slows the airplane down and can make the flight a little longer than usual. As we were taking off from Fort Lauderdale, we flew over to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, which is in the shape of a guitar. It was now time to log onto the aircraft Wi-Fi and pick a movie from United's complimentary entertainment library. I decided to watch Dear Evan Hansen. 
Soon after, the flight attendant came around and brought us a beverage. John and I both had a gin and tonic. Don't judge us. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? By the way, I love United's branded glassware. We were also served a warm ham, egg, and cheese sandwich, which was actually very good. After the sandwich, I had another gin and tonic and finished watching my movie while John took a nap. Before I knew it, we were descending into the clouds and got a view of Chicago. It looks very cold down there. After a lovely flight, we finally landed at Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chicago, where the local time is 918. Please stay comfortably seated until the seatbelt sign is on. Have a good day now. Take care now. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Thank you. We made it to Chicago. The flight was amazing. I love United. They had the best service. And um, I had gin and tonics at 8 in the morning, so don't judge me. <laughs> Welcome to Chicago, buddy boy. I've never been in this terminal before. This is definitely not the Home Alone terminal. Home Alone terminal is the American Airlines terminal. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, they still have a Christmas tree up. <laughs> they do have a, they do still have a Christmas tree up. What's up with that? Aw, at least we get to experience some Christmasness. So we actually checked our bags. Cause it's just like so much easier to just check your bags and not have to carry them. But I'm sure we're gonna have to wait a little bit because we were like one of the first ones off the plane. Yeah, see, we're here already, baggage claim. That was fast. We literally got off the plane like, what, 45 seconds ago? <laughs> and we're here in baggage claim already. Welcome to Chicago. Not gonna lie. I'm very excited to be here. It is 9.40 a.m. I'm getting a little tired. I'm gonna push through until tonight. Oh man, we're gonna knock out. This guy over here fell asleep. Not enough. Hey, your bag is the first one off there. That's yours. Oh, and mine is the third one right there. Nice. All right. All right, time to go catch a train. From here on out, we're following you. He knows Chicago. I know nothing about this place. He used to live here for many, many years, so we're just gonna follow him. So really quick, we gotta take out our jackets from our bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did not want to take that out. Let's shove that back in there. Not only do I have my jacket, I have gloves, which are so thick. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to vlog with these. I have my scarf and earmuffs. Do I need this yet or not yet? You'll find out. On this train, not really. Yet? Not yet, because we're not really going to be outside. No? Alright, so I'll put this around my neck. I'm so excited, guys. I am not used to this, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm prepared and I'm ready. That's the good thing about the mask, though. Like, if you're living in one of these, like, cold climates, at least the mask provides some sort of protection. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's... Maybe like, a little bit. super great. Yeah, because usually you Although, have your scarf around your mouth, so. Yeah. Although, it's probably not much protection, but it's something. Let me put it back on. What an awesome mural of Chicago and everything that represents Chicago. Oh look, it's the Puerto Rican flag from Humboldt Park. That's where you used to live. Yeah. All right, here we are, Chicago O'Hare, CTA O'Hare Station. So this is where we buy our tickets for the train. So they only have a one day or three days. All right, so we'll do a three day ticket. Two tickets. Uh, two tickets. $30 for two three day tickets. All right. Yay! Don't, Don't lose this. To the choo-choo train we go. So we're gonna take the blue line to there's, where? There's a map right there. You tap it here? Yep. Tap. And then go. And we go? That's it? How exciting is this? Do I, am I gonna need this anymore? Yes. That, what? Yep. No, I mean like after the oh, ride. Oh no. Because in London you have to like tap in and tap out. To get out. I know it's weird. Yeah. Our train is here already. Do we just get on, on any of them? Yep. All right, we found a car that we liked. We're on the train, everyone. Okay, so I'm not a city boy, which is why I'm getting like so excited about all, all this stuff. He's used to it. I'm used to it. It's closing. We're here. We made it to the Damon Station. Brr. It's cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. I don't need my gloves yet. I feel pretty good still. Hey, is that our hotel right there? That's our hotel, yeah. Hey guys, that's our hotel right there. The Roby. So in the 1920s, the Roby. Want to tell everybody? No, I don't know the history. It used to be an office space. They turned it into hotel rooms, so. Okay, I'm cold now. And those leg warmers, the long johns that I'm wearing, they are not, they are not working. We literally just got off the train station and we're here at our hotel. 
the Roby Hotel, which also has a cafe called Cafe Roby. So we're definitely gonna have to eat at this cafe at some point. Uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow morning. For sure, Cafe Roby. Hotel check in. So we just checked in. Here's the elevator. Oh. We were able to check in early today. So we are on the eighth floor. I need a break from this mask. But yeah, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Check-in is normally at 3 o'clock. I guess it's January, not many people are staying here. This is what our hotel actually looks like. It's like this shape and it's kind of cool. Alright, ready? 8.06. So yeah, so when I was in high school, my friend uh, Delia, her father had an office in this building. Really? Yeah, that's why I thought it was That's why I was like, oh my god, that's so crazy. I you never told place. me that. Yeah, so I knew it. Show us what the keys look like. So they're actual keys. Some of the That's so doors. cool. Well, this is your Christmas present, so Merry Christmas. This is really nice. So cool, wow. This is really different. Oh my God, I love it. I can't believe that we're here. This is super cute. Oh wow, look at the view. I cannot believe that we're here. I'm gonna show you guys the view. Oh yeah, there's Sears Tower. <gasps> it's the view of downtown Chicago. This is so nice. I don't even know like where to look yet. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is really cool. Are you happy? Yeah, this is unique. Take that thing off your head. Uh, no, you know, <laughs> I got a head. With that big tower right there, what is that one called? Well, it's always, it's gonna always be known as the Sears Tower. Uh, currently, it's the Willis Tower, but we don't call it that. The Chicagoans do not call it that. <laughs> so we have an Urban King, which has a view of downtown Chicago. I'm actually really happy to be here. All right, look. So this is the king bed that we that we got. Is this a an Alexa or a humidifier? Humidifier. It's one of those sound machines. Oh, it's not a humidifier? It would've been nice. It says ocean, meditate, relax. What else do we have? Oh, look. Okay, so this is our- Is there a light in there? Right there. I forgot that you don't- <laughs> You're not used to hotels. The light is usually right by the door right there, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there's a bunch of switches here. Oh, there's like a dimmer. Let's start a room tour, shall we? So the front door, as you guys saw when we walked in, we have a full length mirror right here as you enter so you can see yourself as you exit and as you enter the room. What else do we have here? We have a coffee maker and those are included with the room, by the way. We have two Fiji waters. We have a Coke, a Diet Coke, and a 312. This is a beer? Yeah. Yeah, it's an urban goose wheat island. ale. Oh, it's a Goose Island? We have coffee. Oh, we have little sandals, good. Some sandals, uh, an iron, an ironing board. It's an umbrella. Oh yeah, that's different. All right, and then behind us, the bathroom. So we have a sink, the vanity, the mirror, that's cool. <laughs> the toilet, and then the shower right here to the left. There's also a glass right here. The bedroom is on the other side. So we'll just see our silhouette while we're like showering and using the bathroom and stuff. We have a sitting area right here. We have a table and then we have a little couch that we can sit on and relax. Back into the cold. We are gonna go get some food now. Yeah, we're gonna try this pizza place across the street. We literally walked past it on our way to the hotel and it looked really good, so we're gonna go eat some. The good thing is that there's a Starbucks right there. And we have lots of Starbucks money. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> and I have one hand exposed. This is my vlogging hand, my warm hand. So we walked over to Polly G's in Wicker Park, just a minute walk from our hotel. We ordered our pizza and had to show our vaccination card to be able to sit in there and eat. We sat by the window and the pizza was actually quite delicious. Shortly after, we walked over to Stan's Donuts right next door for some dessert. It was a cute location. I chose the Biscoff Donut, which apparently is one of their popular donuts. I, however, was not a huge fan, but I definitely go back and try another donut. Now that we have some pizza and donuts in our bellies, did you know that there's a warm light right here in the train station? Anyways, what I was saying was we were back at the train station. We're actually gonna head down to downtown. Yeah. Yeah? We're going to downtown. We're gonna go be tourists. We're gonna go to the Bean. It's known as Cloudgate by Anish Kapoor, is the artist. But everyone here just calls it the Bean. So the train should be coming any minute now. And look, there's our hotel right up there. So it's supposed to snow tonight, guys. So I hope it does snow. <laughs> I know, I think that people here probably are like, it's oh, like, it doesn't snow. It says 40% chance, but you never know. Probably light snow. After a 10 minute train ride, we're here in downtown. Oh, hey, I know that Chicago red sign. What is it? Chicago Theater. Oh, cool. It still feels like Christmas here. Look, 
Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> they do not want to take down their Christmas decorations. All right, so we're on Michigan Avenue, which is like the famous street here in Chicago. Correct okay. me if I'm wrong, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's an ice skating rink. Do you know how to ice skate? I've done it a few times, but no, I'm not good at it. So that is the bean, also known as Cloud Gate. I actually just researched it on my way here on the train. <laughs> I, I knew that. No. <laughs> so this was actually unveiled here in 2004. Did you know that? I remember when this was all done because Millennium Park was supposed to be done by the Millennium, but it wasn't. Hey, yeah, it was done in it was, 2004. It was a little bit late. Should we take a selfie? Uh, should, we, should we do what everybody else is doing and take selfies? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I hope you enjoyed that selfie. So I may have considered moving here before we came here, but I don't think this is for me. <laughs> Winter time is not for anybody. I don't think so this like is my style of living. I don't think, I think I am too much of a Floridian by now. Yeah, he's a suburbanite. This is cool to visit, but I don't think I could live in this. I don't know how you did it for so many years. I grew up in cities, except for the few times in Puerto Rico and that's it. Fast forward a little bit. We are now in Chinatown. So he thought it'd be interesting to show me around Chinatown. So there's like an old Chinatown and a new Chinatown. So right now we're in the old Chinatown, but we're going to the new one, the new Chinatown. That's like the newer built, but I noticed there's a lot of new restaurants in old Chinatown, which is pretty good. Guys, there's so many restaurants. So many good places. Oh my right? gosh. We kind of wish that we wouldn't have eaten <laughs> what we did because, well, first of all, this is kind of like out of the way. So it would have been better to eat here, but we were hungry. We were really wanted that pizza but that pizza was good i would go there again too this was good yeah but here it's literally like food food everywhere everywhere you look it's vietnamese or yeah. it's korean or so some, yeah so they have other. like different asian countries right oh the chinese bakery should we just look at it they have really good stuff let's check it out just look look at all these donuts and pastries and i feel like i've had this before oh yeah i have it's the custard cream i've had this like in the chinatown in new york oh really this right here yeah Wow, this looks so good. Maybe we should take something to go with us. <laughs> with an Asian Ooh, twist, look, green tea, croissant. Croissant! So, we did it guys. We went to Tu Le Jour, which is the French-inspired Chinese spot. Yeah. Right? Kind of? Yeah. And we got all these yummy little breads and pastries. So I found my Chinese uh, horoscope, astrological sign, and I'm the rabbit, because I was born in the year 1987. So it actually is kind of true, I think. Rabbits are fun people to be around. Am I fun to be around? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> they are pleasant, obliging, and affectionate, but have a tendency to get too sentimental. They prefer simple pleasures in a tranquil lifestyle. That is for sure. Rabbits often seek safety in numbers and avoid confrontation at all, <laughs> at all costs. <laughs> that is true as well. Rabbits are the most happy with a pig or a ram. Are you a pig? I am a pig. Yay! Wait, are you really? Yes. So That's let's your go sign? To, yeah, let me take a picture of you here for um, the Instagram. So this little area that we're in actually has all of the Chinese astrological Zodiac. <laughs> is that what? Zodiac, that's what they are. And John's is right over here. The pig. How funny not, that we're actually compatible with our Chinese signs. That's the prettiest of symbols, I think, but it's pretty accurate. The pig projects a symbol of raw power, stamina, and vitality. Pigs are sincere, tolerant, honest, loyal, fun-loving, and can be the most accommodating friend imaginable. That's true. However, they lack self-control, can succumb easily to overindulgence and corruption. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, pigs cannot be trusted with managing money. Not true. I don't think that's true. No. Pigs possess considerate talent in the arts and would do well as an actor or entertainer. Pigs are most happy with all except the snake and a monkey. It's a good thing I'm not a snake or a monkey. Although I, I am uh, easily succumb to overindulgence with yeah, sweets. Yeah, with sweets. Whenever I come home from like a three-day trip or something, all of our sweets are gone because he's eating them all. <laughs> because I'm helping him out. He's always like, oh, oh yeah. I can't eat it. Oh, I gotta be on a diet, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, I'll just help yeah. you out. You're so kind. We are back in the train station. I feel like I look like a like a robber. Especially it's, you with that, that cap on. <laughs> stole my heart. Aww. So right here from the train station, we can see the downtown skyline. Well, part of it is in the clouds. Oh, there's a train. So now we are going to catch a train and we're going to head back to our hotel. Yeah, we're back. 
So it's starting to get colder out there. My nose has been running all day. Oh my goodness. But I think we're gonna call it a night. We're actually gonna rest a little bit because we're gonna see his family a little later on tonight. They're gonna come over, I think. Not really sure exactly what we're doing, but we are gonna see them. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's been a long day. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'm gonna be vlogging the rest of this trip. So make sure you turn on those post notifications, the little bell. It'll let you know the next time I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram because I am posting stuff on Instagram. If you have been watching my Instagram, you'll have seen stuff that I'm doing prior to it being out on the vlog. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. We'll show you the skyline one more time before we go. That's a pretty cool looking. Bye bye. <laughs>